I will open the virtual management console and then go to fabric all hosts and create a host group I will name it rename it to TFS and right click add Hyper-V host it is better to use and create a new one I will name it as Hyper-V host administration account and I, I will use a predefined system center virtual machine manager admin account here is the password And here we'll type the name of the Hyper-V we found it so we'll just click next of course just warning me if it is associated with another one it will be dropped here just to go to the place that I want to deploy my virtual machines and add these paths and finish this will add the Hyper-V host to this system virtual machine manager of course because I don't have a, a random access uh, you know uh, I just have a normal hard disk attach it to this uh, server so it is recommended of course to have a very redundancy are the drives okay I will go to property and then change the reserved memory to make sure it will be at least one gigabyte let's check that TFS service is part of the administrator security administrator and we can see that system center admins which includes the TFS server.